Now you know light energy is of course a very broad spectrum, but plants actually only use a small window of white light. And so why waste all the energy of giving the plants all the light from the, from, a, from the white light from the sun when you can grow plants pretty effectively by just narrowing certain wavelengths. So the predominant wavelengths that plants need to grow are in the reds and in the blues. And so there are two different wavelengths of reds that are used here, one that's slightly longer than the other. And then there's also one example of a, of a blue light that's, that's grown in there that also matches the uh, spectrum that plants use for photosynthesis. In addition to photosynthesis, though, plants also use different wavelengths of light for other types of physiological signaling. Um, the most classic example is called far red, which is a very long wavelength red light, and also in the wavelengths of green that um, even though plants are green and you don't think they absorb much, they do absorb a little. And that's important for certain types of um, um, developmental cues that plants use. So the LEDs that are used for these growth um, units have been very carefully engineered, very carefully tailored to fit plants' needs so that they can um, um, very efficiently use the light that's given to them.